Mm -hmm. Oh, we're rolling. We're going to go do a follow up on an umbilical granuloma. Hello. Hey. hey. So, I hear your umbilical granuloma is still giving you problems. Is this still giving you problems? That's silly, huh? Hi. We'll take a look. Hey, there you are. <laughs> taking a look. You taking a look at that camera? Yeah. <laughs> Say, okay. I can tell something's going on. I can tell something's going on. <laughs> like, what's going on? Say, what's going on? All right, so. Oh, so that is a strawberry hemangioma kind of granuloma. Look okay. at all those fancy words. Mm -hmm. Hemangioma, granuloma. So hemangiomas are a cluster of overgrown blood vessels. And that almost certainly is what that is, just because it's so red, right? You've got to have blood vessels to make something look that red. It's still no big deal. Okay. Uh, by doing the same thing we did last time, sometimes when they're this vascular, so meaning they have so many red, red blood vessels in them, or capillaries, um, sometimes we'll have to cauterize it a few times. Okay. So we might be doing this weekly for a few times. But I'm just going to clean it up with a little Q-tip, see what we're dealing with. Yeah, so it's just a... Uh... The other thing we occasionally do, I'm looking at the base of it. Okay. Sometimes we'll tie it off. So I'll get a little suture material and we'll actually tie off the base of it. And then it, it will, if I did that, it would turn black. Okay. Because I would be like... Taking the blood Taking away the blood supply. And then it would just end up dying and dropping off. Um, I'm gonna try, it's just a dry one, I'm gonna try cauterizing it first just to see what, what it looks like when I do that. So get a little silver nitrate stick and we'll just start cauterizing that. See if we kind of get it to kind of see it blanching whitish as, as we get those blood vessels to sort of go. Shrivel up a bit. Oh, sometimes silver nitrate hurts. So far, he's acting like it doesn't bother him too much. And yeah, does he act, was he fussy afterwards last time? How long did that fussiness last? Um, probably like 24 hours. Really? He was fussy for 24? Yeah. Wow. Okay. He was so feeding. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, okay. So that is blanching very nicely with that approach. I'm gonna now dry off the excess. Oh, the hat! Oh, solar nitrate. Get rid of the excess. Yeah, so we'll have to see. Let's see what this does over the next couple weeks. And if we're right back where we started before, we'll probably tie it off. Like we're just okay. not making any progress. But if it's shrinking, um, I think we can just keep shrinking it. Okay. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. When's his next regular visit? Um, his we might four months is on the 17th. Oh, okay. well, his four months, technically, it will be on the 17th. So I can schedule it's it. Coming up. Yeah. We can just do it then. Let's okay. just reevaluate it then and we'll Look make a you. decision. <laughs> okay. He's so cute. He's so cute. You guys, big thumbs up. I'm Dr. Paul. <laughs>